Warner Brothers TV you're probably going to get to see yet another take on the Joker in the not too distant future. Or two, probably, even if Jared Leto's Suicide Squad Joker was tiresome, there's no way any Batman fan has reached the point of irreversible fatigue with the character. He's too much of an iconic character with too much brand appeal to disappear after just one misstep, and Warner Brothers are well aware of the fact. Why else would they have several movies slated that could have the Joker involved? Both Leto's version and recast one brought in for the standalone origin story? And why else would the Clown Prince be coming to Gotham on the small screen? And make no mistake, the Joker is headed for the occasionally bonkers TV show. At least according to David Mazouz, who has confirmed that Jerome, the character lots of people assumed was headed towards a Mr. J transformation eventually, won't end up being the show's version of the iconic villain. Instead, Mazouz is confident that the show will reveal the real Joker at some point and seems to suggest that he knows how he's going to be introduced, he's not the Joker. That's all I'm saying, he's definitely the inspiration for the Joker and the way that the Joker comes into the show is one of the most brilliant things Gotham has ever done. That sounds good. Though the idea of the Joker as a copycat will sit less swell with die-hard fans. At least Mazuz also confirms that Harley Quinn will be in the season 3 finale. Read next, ranking all the Jokers, from worst to best.